Hi YouTube. Over the next couple of weeks, um, in the run-up to Christmas, I'm going to be putting together the next batch of coins to send over to NGC. And uh, I just wanted to show you some of the coins that I've got ready to go. Um, I've already taken a couple of coins that I think weren't worth grading. For example, a quite a shiny $10 eagle, uh, which has been sold this weekend. Uh, and the rest of the coins that I've been collecting are pretty much fine, as far as I can see, to go to NGC. The older coins hopefully won't get details grades. Um, and over the next couple of weeks you'll see a couple of videos like this, because when I get to the States there are a few more packages arriving, so there'll be some unboxings and uh, generally um, a package of stuff that's going to go over to NGC to come back to the UK sometime in January. So uh, there's a quarter ounce panda. Um, whenever I see these pandas at the good price, I try and pick them up. Really like pandas. Um, and I'll continue trying to pick them up at the right price. Uh, I've got a quarter ounce monkey to add to the tenth of an ounce that I've already had slabbed. Uh, and I think there's a twentieth of an ounce waiting for me from Bay Precious Metals over in, uh, in the States. There's a young head sovereign. It's um, a bullion-ish kind of sovereign. It's not in amazing condition, but I really do like young head sovereigns. I think they've got age and numismatic interest, and if you get a chance to pick up young heads over some of the Edward and George sovereigns, then go ahead and pick them up. Then you've got a two and a half dollar quarter eagle. Uh, again, there's actually not very many of these around that are reasonable, and this was one I managed to pick up. Looks to be to be an AU55, AU58, but we'll see what NGC says about that one. Then, then there's the uh, half ounce panda, the one I picked up with um, an eBay voucher a few weeks ago. Uh, got a good deal on this from Germany and uh, I'm going to have this one put into a slab. There's the tenth of an ounce um, Britannia, 2007 Britannia I picked up the other day that I'm going to have slabbed. Um, I've already got another one of these slabbed as well, but it does no harm having to, maybe depending on what kind of grades they get, um, I might put one up for sale, but they're still nice coins. There's the random tenth of an ounce Libertad, which turned out to be a 2014. Uh, I've got a couple of those already, and I'll have this one slabbed as well. I believe in getting these BU Libertads slabbed because the gold is so soft. And then there's another tenth of an ounce um, Britannia, which um, I'll do, a, I'll do a, um, a short video at some stage on my set of tenth of an ounce Britannias, because I'm trying to build uh, a registry set on NGC, and I'll explain to you guys a little bit about what a registry set is, and we'll go and have a look at uh, what you need to put in to get your registry set going. And then there's um, a couple of um, 2015 Gold Proof Libertads. This one's a half ounce that I picked up from Germany on an eBay auction. Then there's um, a quarter of an ounce here as well that I picked up from somebody on a forum who was breaking up a set. Um, I've got another one of these 2015s waiting for me in the States, and uh, I've also just been able to pick up, uh, and you might want to take a look at Atmex, because they've got these at a very good price at the moment for the complete set of five. So let me know what you think, guys.